Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem numbers, problem numbers 93 and 94. Problem number 93, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. Very simple, very straightforward question. We have to find two numbers such that their sum is 6 and their difference is 30. There are two ways we can solve these problems. We're going to do both ways. We're going to learn both methods. One first method, first method we're going to look at is what is known as simultaneous, simultaneous equations. Simultaneous equations method. It's called simultaneous equations because we can arrive at two equations. The, those two equations need to be solved at the same time. We're looking for the values of the two variables such that the values of those two variables satisfy both of the equations at the same time, simultaneously, hence the simultaneous equations. And the two variables that we're going to have, uh, tradition dictates whether we just stick with x and y. We could do a and b or hippos and monkeys, but we stick with x and y. Their sum is 6. So we have two variables here, two numbers, and their sum, we are told, is 6. We are also told that when you take a difference, y, x minus the y, that is equal to 30. That is equal to 30. I'm going to move this 6 so it lines up properly with the unit digit. Let's add the two equations. If we add the two equations, positive y and negative y, they're going to kill each other, and we end up with 2x equals 36, which means x is equal to 18. Once we have the value of x, we can figure out the y very easily. y would have to be, since their sum is 6, y is simply 6 minus x. 6 minus x, which is 6 minus 18, and it turns out that y is negative 12. y is negative 12, and x is 18. As you can see, their sum, 18 plus a negative 12, will give a sum of 6, and 18 minus minus 12, their difference, x minus y, x is 18, 18 minus y, which we just found is negative 12, 18 minus y becomes plus, and we end up with 18 plus 12, which is 30. In other, in other words, their difference is 30. Of course their difference is 30 because if x is 18 and y is negative 12, then if you visualize on a number line, they are 30 units apart because x is way on the positive side here on the 18 and y is negative 12. They are 30 units apart. Their difference is 30. So that was a simultaneous equation method. Let's look at another method, what is known as a substitution method. Substitution method is so called because here we're going to represent one variable in terms of the others and we're going to substitute back in, the, in, in, in their sum or the difference and solve for the, solve for the unknown. For example, in the substitution method, uh, we're going to represent, let's represent S, let's use letter S to represent the smaller number. If you represent, uh, if, you, if you use S to represent smaller number, then the greater number, whatever the greater number happens to be, we are told their difference is 30. If their difference is 30, what it means is that the greater number is 30 more than the smaller number. As you can see, the greater number 12, but the greater number was 18. The greater number 18 is 30 more than negative 12. Of course, we don't have a luxury looking at this thing when we're solving for this method, but that's what that is. Their difference is 30, which means the larger number is 30 more than the smaller number. So if you're going to represent smaller number with little s, the greater number is 30 more than that. That's all. And now we can simply you make use of the fact that their sum is 6. So the smaller number plus the greater number, they had to add up to 6, not, not 30. They had to add up to 6. Their sum is 6. S plus G, which is right here, th S plus 30. S plus 30, S2 equals 6. S and S becomes 2 S's. 2 S's plus 30 is equal to 6. We subtract 30 from both sides, we end up with 2 S equals to negative 24 and then s gives us negative 12. Once we have the value of the smaller number, 
the larger number is 30 more than that. So if s is, s is negative 12, negative 12 plus a 30 will give us positive 18. So that was substitution method. This is simultaneous method, simultaneous equations method. Bye now.